Hello Sagittarius, how's it going? I hope you are very, very well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be messages from your person for January. But it is a timeless reading, Sag, so whatever you happen to encounter it is when you were meant to, you know, when you were meant to see it. You are very welcome here, Sag. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it a lot. And um, if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, you know, if you find it resonates with you, I'd appreciate that a lot. You have the Five of Wands, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. You do have this tower at the bottom of the deck here. So Something might be, there's something shifting for this person, I would say. Let's see what else comes out here. Kind of looks like they're going to offer you commitment. Knight of Cups with the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with a water sign. Um, specifically, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, and I know it's not water sign, but you could also be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a cancer too. Okay, you have the magician here who wants to come out. Um, so that would be Gemini or Virgo energy. It looks like this person has what they need to move forward now. The sun, the bottom of the deck, revelations. All right. Five of Wands with the Two of Wands. The King of Cups with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they've made a decision. This has been a long standing decision. It's taken them a long time. We have the Knight of Cups with the Judgment here. They're, they're making a decision to come towards you. They're in love with you. This person's in love with you. And they're going to come forward and show you. They're going to call you, text you, and tell you this. It's taken them a long time to get to this point because that judgment card is something, it is not a fast decision, but they're feeling very, very called to make this uh, offer. You have the sun. So I want to say this person has realized something like think they've been fighting it for a while or they've had some conflict or something. I want to say they've been fighting this for a while. Yeah. Because you have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. They didn't know what to do for some reason. I'm going to clarify that five of wands because it's either internal conflict or it's ex external conflict or there was just a lot of stuff going on for this person. Um, I'm going to show you the cards in a minute. I just wanted to finish shuffling, but the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, this is almost like I can't see this. Like I'm not acknowledging this because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to move this forward. I don't know if I should move this forward. You know, that's the energy they've been in. Okay. 
nine of cups and yeah you have this eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so you are dealing with someone who has been mentally stuck they're not actually stuck you know the eight of swords is not someone who's actually stuck it's someone that's kind of i don't want to say victim mentality but um it can be that like you know I want to say this person kind of gets in their own way is actually what I want to say. They've been keeping feelings to themselves for a long time, but I think that's about to change. I think this has been a really long time coming and I think it's going to come a bit out of nowhere. So yeah, right in the middle of the reading you have the Knight of Cups with the Judgment. So. <laughs> Get ready, at some point with the Knight of Cups here, this person's going to come in and tell you how they feel. They're going to offer you their heart on their, on their sleeve, or as close as this person can get to it. They're feeling really, you know, I think they've been called to, to, to do this for a long time, but they've kind of resisted it. Um, for some reason, but the call is too strong now. They've been thinking about this for a long time though, because that judgment card is, you know, it's a long standing decision. It's a decision that they've, it's taken them a really, really long time to get there. <laughs> um, but see how they have, this Knight of Cups is moving towards that Four of Wands. So this is what they're coming in to offer you, that, that commitment, that long term commitment here. There's something with this person, you could be dealing with, um, an ear sign or you could be de dealing with a an Aries but you know listen please don't get too hung up on the signs because they could be any sign you know this is just what they're embodying at the moment so you have the four of wands with the fool <clears throat> so they're taking this leap of faith towards you with this fool card I think for some for some reason it has taken this person a while to get to this place where they feel safe enough to go for this with you. They're showing up here as this King of Cups. So like I said, I think I said it earlier, right? Um, Scorpio, Cancer, could also be a Libra. You have the Knight of Swords here, which is Aquarius. There's always been this desire with this person, with the Knight of Swords to move things along quite quick. But they're not that kind of person with the Knight of Cups, uh, sorry, the King of Cups. They're just not that kind of person. The King of Cups is very, the, you know, the King of Cups is very, they really like to think about things before they make a move. They are not reactionary. The King of Cups is all about self-mastery and self-control. You know, it's that kind of energy of like, <laughs> I'm just going to ignore these emotions, basically. Uh, because it, I don't feel like it's the right time to express them. They may be someone who they just don't show a lot of emotions. Like they're just very in control of their emotions. Although there is a lot there. This person has a lot of emotions. And I think they're really coming in quite fast. <laughs> and I think you're going to be surprised at the level of emotion this person comes in with. Because I I really, I think they haven't shown it to you before. They could be a healer of some kind, they could be a doctor, or a nurse, um, they could be something artistic for a living, you know, they could be like a philanthropist, they could work for a charity or something. Why is that five of wands there? Please. Yeah, this is an internal debate. Yeah. Wow, all right, I don't know what, okay. 
There's been some kind of heartbreak with this person is the reason they're not moving forward. And there's the King of Swords again. Uh, sorry, the King of Swords. I was looking at the King of Cups. It's the same kind of energy. So they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo. Because um, I see the King of Swords as a Virgo, even though I know technically that's not his sign. But you're dealing with someone, they, they really don't want to get hurt. They've really been trying to protect themselves here. You know, the King of Swords is very similar energy to this King of Cups, Knight of Swords. Still waters run deep. There's a lot of emotion involved with this person, but they were either, they either grew up in an environment where it wasn't, you know, it wasn't okay to kind of express emotions, or they're just one of those people that they just don't like to express it, or they're not good at it, you know? Like they would rather make a joke, <laughs> or they would rather just like, no, you know, they maybe maybe they would rather show you in like actions or something like this, right? But because we've not been together, they haven't really been able to do that. So I think it's difficult for this person to get emotions out. You have this um, five of wands here with the two of wands. So there's a they think about you all the time. There's like this gift, you know, with the two of wands. They see this with you, like this opportunity with you as like a gift. And they think about it all the time, but there's this internal conflict, you know, and it comes from a, it comes from a blocked heart chakra in some way. They've been hurt in some way. They're carrying around this burden of sadness from the past. Now that could be in terms of love, or it could be in terms of something that goes way back, you know. It's difficult for this person to kind of accept love, is what I want to say. They've really been debating whether or not to reach out to you because they really, really don't want to be in this Five of Pentacles energy. They really don't want to be in that again. They've been in it before, um, whether that's in terms of love or like, you know, some other kind of situation where they've been rejected, they felt left out in the cold. They really want to reach out to you, but um, they've been very, very hurt, very, very scared of getting hurt. But they're coming towards you. See, they've made their choice. There's been, see, you have the Sun, the Seven of Wands, the Lovers, and the Eight of Cups, right? See, they've made their choice which is to come towards you. Um, they're moving away from being so defensive with you because there's been some kind of enlightenment here. Their guides must have intervened or something. Or they found something out about you that um, they really liked. They might, you know, their guides might have been coming to them in their dreams or something. I'm just gonna pry a little bit and see what this Three of Swords is, but if they don't want us to go too far into it, we won't. Why is that Three of Swords there? Why is that Three of Swords there? The Sun. The Five of Swords. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of the people that you're dealing with have been through a divorce. And it was very, very toxic. You have, so clarifying that three of swords, you have the sun and the five of swords, and you have the justice and the devil. So they had some kind of epiphany. For some of you, this was about a marriage or a really long-term commitment that they were in. They might have been in a commitment with a Libra for some of you. Um, but they had some kind of epiphany, they saw the light about someone they were with in the past that they had to move away from because this person, whether this is a love interest or someone else, because it could also be family, it could also be friends, it could be a situation this person got themselves into, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, um, it could be a circle of friends that always told them like, you know those little digs that friends do 
you know, to keep you in your place, to keep you down, or like family members that take from you all the time or undermine you or something. It's something like that. For some of them it's a divorce or like a long-term relationship that was very toxic. This person was involved in something very, very toxic. Yeah. Okay. A lot of concern here with this Nine of Swords. There's a lot of kind of hyper independence with this person. They're very used to uh, fending for themselves or fending people off or they're, they're like, they're very prickly. You know what I mean? It's a very kind of prickly energy, like hard to get close to, but they're having some kind of huge revelation. Something's changed for this person. This person's current, um, they're currently trying to ground themselves. <clears throat> Sorry, Sag, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. They're currently trying to ground themselves. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Because there has been some kind of huge revelation for this person. So they're kind of in, it's almost like. The, it's not that they don't want to talk to you, they do want to talk to you, but they're kind of scared that it's going to be a no. Um, because with this Nine of Cups energy, often it's better. <laughs> um, you know like when you have a crush and it's always better when you don't know what they think, you know, when you haven't told them and it's just kind of in your head and that way no one can ruin it, right? Like you can't ruin it, they can't ruin it. So they're kind of almost in um, La La Land <laughs> at the moment, basically. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, they're trying to ground their energy. Um, they're showing me a Four of Swords actually in one of my decks sitting over there. So this person is in a time of like, it's like a period of rest after a lot of stress, basically. Um, it could, they could also be trying to balance their money or something like that. So, um, yeah, look, oh, I lost it. They just sh showed me the Four of Swords again. Um, they showed me the Ace of Cups, so you're going to get, there's, there's going to be a renewal here as well, okay? Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely a lot of sadness in this person's life about something, but they're moving on from that, okay? They are healing. They are moving on. So I'm gonna pull some. <laughs> I'm gonna pull some oracle cards. Okay, that kind of shot out. Oh, I'm gonna take them both together. You have "You Are My Sunshine," and you have "You Are a Light in My World." Beautiful, Sag. So you make this person very happy. I do think though, with that Nine of Cups, <clears throat> a lot of the time it's. It is almost like they don't want, you know, like when you you have very little else to look forward to in your life and you have this like one crush um, or like this one kind of relationship that you're hoping for and it's kind of the thing that gets you through. Like, I feel like that's what you are for this person. I hope you understand what I mean. And that's kind of almost why they don't want to know, like they don't want to bring this up with you in case it's, you know, not what they think. Like maybe they think it's all in their head or they think that you're going to say no or... Because I don't know if this person kept you waiting for a long time. I don't see it in the cards, but they've been making this decision for a long time. They love you, Sag. That card hardly ever comes out. 
person's in love with you. Okay, what else would this person like to say to Sag, please? What else would this person like to say to Sag? Soulmate. This person thinks that you're their soulmate. You have I miss you underneath that. You have babies in the future, so this person's thinking fam with you. Sag, for those of you that this applies to. And let's just get one more. In fact, let's get two more, please, Spirit. What else would this person like to say? Leveling up for you. So they're getting rid of some toxic influences in their life, or they're healing from toxic influences. It was very toxic. Whatever it was, was very, very toxic. And you have, they think the world of you. So they just think that you're just awesome. And you have, there's no one else. That's the second time I've seen that. So they really want you to know that like, if there's been a long time here, it's not because they have someone else. Which sometimes I think if you're waiting for someone, that's the worst thing, right? When you're like, oh my God. What if they have someone else? I couldn't cope with that. But they want you to know, like, no, they don't. Um, so what else would this person like to say to Sag? I'm just going to take the top one. I remember back on the mountain, I go to remind myself before the pain in the dreamy clouds. So this is a hermit energy card. This person has spent a lot of time in hermit mode. You know, whether that means they physically spent a lot of time alone, or they just um, have had a lot of disappointments in their life which have caused them to do a lot of self-reflection. It's difficult for this person to move on from the pain that they've had. I think they kind of to and fro. I think this is the judgment, you know. Um, they feel such a calling towards you, but there is this inner conflict here because this person has really been through it, I would say. Um, so they kind of to and fro and they might be someone, I don't want to say that they wallow. It's just, I think they're attached to like a previous um, version of themselves that wasn't as strong. So maybe they kind of, you know, sometimes they kind of return to that. Okay, what else please? I want to keep you warm under the sheets. Together we rest and indulge. So I don't take that so much as a hanky-panky card. I take that so, it's actually more of a sweet card because that's kind of snuggling. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a snuggling card. And it's just someone, it's very much this four of wands energy, you know, of like, let's have a life. Let's wake up together. Let's have coffee together in bed in the morning. You know, let me keep you warm, like, you know what I mean? Let's rest together. This person is looking for peace. Okay, what else please? What else would this person like Sag to know? Spirit, what else would this person like Sag to know? You want me to pull one? Sorry, my camera cut out there. Okay, this one seems to want to come out. Wow, you are my ultimate light and love. That's three cards you've got about you being this person's light. You are my ultimate light and love. I see only you forever. There is nothing I wouldn't sacrifice for our highest good. My heart, body and mind belong to you. Wow. <laughs> and let's get one more, please. What else would this person like Sag to know? All right, we're gonna take two, because they seem to want to come out. Who am I to argue? Okay. 
<clears throat> you have promised me that you will always be with me. Betray me and we won't be together anymore, I promise. So that's a card that comes out when someone has been betrayed in the past and they're almost expecting you to do it because that is kind of what this person's been used to in the past. They're very, very prickly. It's a very prickly energy. Oh. You knew me all along. Our love was always there. <coughs> Sorry, Sag. Um, you knew me all along. Our love was always there. I cared for you before I knew your face. I always think that one's going to rhyme. <laughs> but it doesn't and it catches me off guard. Um, so... For some of you, that is this is talking about the um, the face masks thing. So you might have met this person like in the last couple of years. I can't even remember how long we've been wearing masks for, but um, you know, real masks, not metaphorical masks. <laughs> um, but you know, you might have met them during the pandemic or something. So you've not actually properly seen this person's face yet, or something like along those lines but on a more kind of ethereal interpretation. I say this is someone you've known for a while. And it was like you kind of, you know, either you've known them for a while, I would say you've known them for, you definitely, it's someone you already know, put it that way. Because it's like, you knew this person, like you saw the good in this person, I think, when nobody else did. Or like, I really think when you met this person, they were going through something. And I just, I just want to say with this card, it's like you knew, you knew them before they knew themselves, if you know what I mean. Like you saw something in them that I think maybe a lot of other people didn't see or they didn't even see in their self at the time because they've forgotten like maybe you make them strong you know maybe you make this person feel beautiful or maybe you make them feel handsome or maybe you saw like a goodness in them that other people didn't see or something there's something like that it's like you saw them and they've always loved you but i want to say so i'm gonna leave it there sag i hope you enjoyed the reading um I don't want to say it's like a very old energy. I can't actually tell. But it's definitely someone you you know. You know, it, either you've known them for like a year, I would say, or you've known them for longer, is what I would say with this reading. So anyway, anyway, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you know who I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you. Thank you very much. For being here don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that of course i would appreciate that a lot take care sag and lots of love